Welcome back to another week of fall watching. I clearly survived Land Rover weekend. I am toasty burnt and I'm still smidge sleep deprived, but I got through it. Um, that being said, I'm actually really surprised that we don't have a kid to introduce you all to for the weekend. I thought for sure the golden pal was going to go. No, she's still holding that thing hostage. And as of right now, she's still been pretty quiet. We also now have a Munnings to keep an eye on because she now also has wax. Um, actually, Sunday afternoon, day shift was like, she was very uncomfortable. She's walking, all the things. And sure enough, I came out here and sat with her for a bit and she was like dripping milk. And I was like, oh yeah, for sure. Munnings will go tonight. No, she didn't go on Sunday either. And so currently I think our best bets for the, for the week are the Munnings and the Golden Pal. Both have wax. Both are ready to go, but currently they're just vibing, relaxed as could be, no care in the world. Um, also, I have a feeling my hateful and grateful will have wax within the next 24, 48 hours. And you're probably like, okay, how do you predict a horse is going to have wax? You kind of really don't, but I swear sometimes when you stare at them, you'll see like the tiniest little bit of like crystallite wax like getting ready to form and so it's not there yet but like give it a day or two and it will get there and i feel like i just saw that on her earlier today and so that's kind of the vibe i think she's gonna go this week anyway when it's most inconvenient so either thursday friday or saturday but i guess we're gonna see anyway um i guess we're just gonna buckle in and wait to see i have a feeling as of right now no one's gonna go tonight unless they decide to go at like 3 a.m that's definitely a possibility um but really i think tonight's gonna be quiet so i think tuesday is our best chance of starting something but let's see if i'm wrong it is now tuesday uh no one did anything on monday i know uh i do have three ladies with wax this lady as she currently does not have wax but she does technically have wax and i say that because she's actively had wax like throughout the past couple days, just this very second. She does not have any. However, they did just come in from outside and sometimes, well, it's not really uncommon when that, they're outside, they start walking and moving and grooving. They might lay down and roll, which obviously she did at a point in time. Um, and so they might knock off, ugh, they might knock off that wax uh, when they're outside doing things. I actually get that question quite a lot, typically on TikTok, whether or not we turn out mares when they're getting close to falling yeah absolutely they are outside all day long they only come inside at night um it's better for them they like they need to be outside right they need to be outside they need to be moving they need to be horses uh all this is not just for show you know in all honesty if anytime i hear someone like oh we keep our mares in like when they get like t a month or so close to falling if that's how you're doing things because you just that's the way you like to or that's how your facility set up you don't have the facility to turn them out or something then you shouldn't be breeding horses to be blunt they need to be outside it's better for them healthier for them all that jazz because uh, like this lady is a wonderful example she's obviously been outside she's really pregnant so uh, toward oh goodness i'm so sorry toward the end of their pregnancy it's not completely uncommon for some mares to stock up AKA their legs will get kind of swollen. Uh, she's been a great case for that. You can see it just a little bit right around here, mainly around her ankle. If I were to leave her inside all day, all night, no matter what, not turned her out, she, her legs would be huge. She would be miserable. Um, already she's not necessarily, and the whole reason she is stocking up is because she hasn't been necessarily comfortable enough to walk and roam as much as she normally does outside. But she's doing it, so it could be worse. Um, if I can fix it, there you go. She also has wax. Um, but yeah, she is super, super pregnant. She's got some edema. She's stocking up. See, they got a little bit of a edema cooking. Oh, if I were to leave her inside all day, all night, never turn her out, that edema would just be whoop, huge. Yeah. Goodness. Ugh. And while it's not necessarily uncommon for them to get it, definitely, it definitely helps for them to go outside and walk it off. Bless you. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of sounds going on right now. But yeah, it's better for them to get out and about as much as they can. So, 
that's the Munnings. That's the Golden Pal. Um, they've just been quiet, vibing, doing what they do. The one who I'm thinking is potentially going to pop tonight is my personal hateful and grateful. And the reason I say that is she's been very uncomfortable the past like week and a half, maybe more, which is not necessarily unusual. She tends to be a mare that is just very obnoxious in general. Um, the thing is, is yesterday I noted, I was like, she looks like she might have the tiniest bit of wax. When I came in today at five, she definitely had wax. And I was like, oh yeah, now she has wax. But she's been so uncomfortable. She's been walking and walking and walking and stomping, swishing her tail. All that jazz. You put your angry face away, ma'am. Um... Oh, yeah, you don't have it anymore. She had a lot of wax, and then earlier she was kind of dripping a little bit, and now she's just kind of vibing. So I have a feeling that she might pop tonight. So she's just doing a thing, aren't you? She's like, yeah, absolutely. Can I sneak on past without you being mad? She's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, so I feel like that was a really bad example of, hey, everyone actually has wax, because two of them didn't really actually have wax wax they've had wax and i swear to god in like an hour they will have wax but like <laughs> they've been outside they've been moving and grooving they've been doing regular pony things so oh goodness speaking of regular pony things what are you all doing y'all came running oh goodness these are the kind of newer babies that have been kicked to the outer world. They're all just vibing. Somebody has two children and should not have two children. Who stole a baby? Oh, she has the, her, her, her buddy's baby. Oh goodness. These two right here, they crack me up. They, so every time we turn out mares and babies, the mares will go out alone with their baby for two weeks. And then after those two weeks are up, we'll put them in another small paddock, but with a buddy. And so that way they learn to have a buddy. They learn herd manners, herd dynamics, all that jazz. And then they'll be together for about two weeks and then they'll go out into a big herd. <laughs> so some of these little critters, they, they'll, they'll just stay buddies with their buddy from like day one. They don't ever even bother going to look for another buddy, nothing. They're just like, nope, this is my assigned best friend. You're stuck with me forever now. Yeah, is that how this works? And then others, like as soon as they get away and they have the option to have more buddies, like they'll ne you'll never see them with the other baby again. They're like, nope, didn't like him. It was nice to have you as my first friend, but that was about it, huh? Oh goodness. You are very bold compared to your siblings. You know that? Yeah, you, you're also big. You're bigger than I expected. He's like, am I not big? No, no, you're not. Oh, goodness. Yeah, fuzzy ears. Anyway, um, I guess we're going to lock in and see if my mare is actually going to fold tonight or not. I can see her from here still walking. I can see her little shadow going, going around. Um, I think she's our best bet. In reality, all three mares that I showed you could definitely go at any time. But I, th I think my mare is going to be the one who does it tonight. And the other two are going to hold off a little bit longer, maybe toward the end of the week.
Well, this one officially wraps up my personal babies. Yeah. I don't know why we're always surprised when you all are just problems knowing who your mother is. Uh, but this is a gift box. <laughs> this is a gift box filly. Um, oh, good lord. <laughs> she's a little frustrated right now. I know she's. you're probably like, oh, she's so cute doing zoomies. She's doing angry zoomies because she wants to lay down. And she figured out how to stand up really well. And every time she's figured out how to lay down, it's because she's been, like, accidentally knocked over or she, like, accidentally fell on herself somehow. She hasn't really put together, like, a proper, like, <laughs> a proper little, uh, oh, what's the word? Delicate? No. I don't know. Anyway, she, she hasn't just figured out, like, the most elegant, elegant's the word I'm looking for, elegant way to fold yeah so she that's why she's doing angry baby zoomies is because she she, she kind of just yeah anyway uh she's definitely gonna be gray i know you can't really tell from here um honestly i couldn't even really tell until i got really really close to her um but sh she will be gray yeah so that means i was a hundred percent right in guessing my coat colors for my personal kids I was only 25% right in guessing the genders. I thought for sure this one was going to be a cult. And, well, I was wrong. I was very wrong. She's like, mm, yeah, you know it. Have you calmed down? Are you tired? Just fall. It's, it's really not that scary, I promise. It's not that scary. It's not that scary. She's like, speak for yourself. I have four legs. You only have two. It's gotta be so much easier to fall on two legs than it is four. <laughs> now she's gonna kick mom. No, you didn't kick mom. <laughs> You're so awkward. So, so awkward. Anyway. Ugh. Well, we got that one officially popped. We still have... The Golden Pal and the Munnings that are holding on. They were really quiet all night. They didn't really do anything. So those are the two I'm expecting are still going to pop sometime this week. Uh, and then really this Nyquist and this Uncle Mo are our final two after those two. So we only got four more left. These two, like, I'm not really expecting them anytime this week. Maybe next week. Maybe even the week after. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of... Why do you all always have to lay down right under mother? Like, can't we be, do this in a safer manner than, I don't know, whatever the heck we want to do? Y'all act like you pay for your own vet bills. It's ridiculous. Anyway. Uh, yes, I have... I will still, I'll be... Goodness, someone down there is struggling. I'll be very surprised if this Munnings and the Golden Pal actually hold off till next week. But, like, they, they've been so quiet that, like, it wouldn't be outside of the realm of possibility is kind of my thought process. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll wait and see if anyone decides to do anything tomorrow. It is now Wednesday, and I could be wrong, could definitely be wrong. I've got a feeling we're going to have a golden pal tonight. She, obviously, she seems pretty content with life. Um, if we time this right, maybe. Oh, goodness, you can kind of see baby bumping and grooving in there. Um, she kind of still has wax, but more importantly, she has, goodness, she has started to drip milk a little bit. I was trying to see if I timed this correctly because she was doing it a little bit earlier. It's been minor, and it's been on and off. But it's just kind of, you know. So I have a feeling I wouldn't be overly surprised if she goes in the next 24, 48 hours. Which I'm glad because she's kind of been dragging it out. Being a little bit, like she's not been annoying. She's been quiet and content. She's just had wax for so long at this point. I'm kind of like, okay, any day now would be really lovely. Uh, that kind of goes in the same vein as, oh goodness, you went kerplunk. As this Munnings. She's, again, been quiet. She's got wax. She's just doing her thing uh, as she does. And I guess we can officially kind of start talking about these final two because, I mean, 
they're close ish i wouldn't like they're not gonna fall this week i'll be surprised a little bit if they fall next week but it's not outside of the realm of possibility uh, and that is this uncle mo and this nyquist they're both kind of they've just been vibing they're quiet their boobs are getting there they're not really you know full but they're just they're 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 creeping and crawling their way up there anyway um yeah i guess we're just gonna wait and see if this golden pal decides to go i kind of hope she does because i would like to go to belterra tomorrow i'm gonna go to belterra anyway tomorrow um but yeah it would just be nice to go without having to think oh my god i hope she doesn't fall when i'm gone for like the hour i'm gone i'm away it is thursday i'm currently stuck to the wall so i can't wander because i have no battery at this moment um, I was definitely a little surprised that the golden pal didn't end up going. She was a little uncomfortable at the beginning of the night, and then she settled down, and everything was nice and quiet and fine. Um, she's been pretty quiet for now. So has the Munnings. So, I mean, I still feel like the golden pal is our best bet for the evening. But really, those are just the two we're kind of waiting for. I have a feeling the Munnings is more likely going to fall on the weekend, uh, or she'll wait till Monday. So really, it's just kind of the golden pal that I'm like, well, whenever you're ready, that would be nice. Anyway, goodness, you didn't, that didn't work too well for you. Um, anyway, I'm going to let my phone charge because I don't know why I have no battery, but I guess I don't. Uh, and I guess we're just going to wait and see if that golden pal decides to pop or not. <sighs> well, uh, it is Saturday morning and nothing nothing has happened i don't really know why she's been quiet she still has wax doing the things she's been doing i will say i feel like tonight she's been like a, a hair shifty you know like they typically have their one spot one or two spots that they stay in and i felt like maybe just maybe she moved like two extra spots <laughs> that's that's how much I'm overthinking all this at this point. And then this lady over here, I had actually thought she was going to go at like earlier in the evening because she got a little bit restless. And I was like, okay, maybe now it's finally go time. And then she relaxed and settled down and was like, never mind. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. I'm not ready yet. So we also have that. Um, yeah. So, originally, what was it, last week, I was like, oh yeah, she should go over the weekend. It may be her too. And then, all this week, I'm like, she's any day. Any freaking day. And I was convinced that this one is going to go on the weekend or Monday. So, the weekend's here. <laughs> um, that being said, normally tonight is my last night for the evening. Normally, I work, you know, like Monday not Monday night through Friday night, so, you know, Saturday morning. Uh, there's been a little change of plans, and so I'm actually also working tonight. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe they're just waiting for my relief to come in. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. So I, I'll have Sunday, Monday off instead of Sunday, Saturday. So I'm wondering, I mean, I, I've kept saying they're going to go on the weekend. Maybe... Maybe they were just waiting for things to get switched around. And now it's not going to happen because I'm going to be here anyway. I don't know. I'm just kind of, I'm just, I'm just, and the thing is, it's like, you know, like there's been some mares, obviously throughout the season who've walked and walked or been on and off uncomfortable. And it's like, those are the ones that really stressed me out because I'm like, oh my god, today's the day, today's the day, and then they don't do it. These two, at least, they've like they've been quiet, but I like it's and it's better than them walking all night. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, could we uh, do anything potentially to like get this party going? Maybe. She's like, no, not at all. Anyway. I guess we're going to see if my random extra day is going to cause these ladies to do something. But at this point, I feel like I don't even know. <sighs> All right, it is Saturday. The Golden Pal has been kind of rubbing her booty. So I'm a little hopeful 
little tiny hopeful because this is new, right? This is new. We have not been doing this, right? Phenomenal. Awesome. She could just be doing it to tease me, however. Uh, and then we also have the Munnings, of course, who is doing absolutely nothing. So that's where we're at today. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess we're going to sit in and see if one of these two finally decide to do anything. Anything at all would be nice. She just let a big sigh. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I would love to say that we had baby last night, but we didn't. I'd love to say she did anything last night. She didn't. I got excited for all like, like 15 minutes. I was like, oh my God, I think we're finally going to do something. Because she was scratching her butt and I was like, maybe this is it. It was not it. It was not it in any in any type of way. So, I guess we're just going to have the one baby this week. Um, which, is, which sucks, honestly. I am like, I, I typically like these weeks because it's like a nice, easy chill week and I get a lot of stuff done you know outside of all this but like I just feel like all last week we you know I had full watching and Land Rover so I was busy and I was a zombie and I was exhausted and so I really I felt like I didn't really get anything done but because I was busy this week it's been such a chill week you would think okay you get a lot of stuff done but it's derby week and you know, horse racing is kind of one of those things where like it pops up randomly a couple times a year where like the general public suddenly is an expert on everything. And like the good and bad thing with social media is obviously over the years, you know, false information get, can get spread really easily, but you can also use it to properly educate. And I've always said horse racing has not done a great job of like properly explaining itself to the public of like what actually happens. Like this is what this is, this is what this is, this is what's, uh, this is a lie, this is actually how it goes, or like this is happening and this is what happens, like this is what we do to counteract that. You know, they haven't really done that until like super recently. And so, you know, it's just, it's one of those things that like now, like I almost feel obligated, like I kind of have to, where like I have a little bit of a following and I have the education that like when I see the false information, I have to either just like, I understand not everyone's going to accept that they're wrong. But, like, I can at least just be, like, try to be polite the first time. Be like, hey, I understand that this is what you said. This is actually not correct. This is what is correct. I understand where you're coming from, but that's actually, this is where that, that story used to take root from. But that's not true. This is true. You typically get, like, one or two reactions. You get the people who, like, like they, even if they don't agree with you in the end, they're at least willing to have the conversation, right? They're at least willing to attempt it, like to attempt to be educated, and that that's fine. That then there's the other people who just think they're right no matter what, and they're like, I it's like I my way or the highway type situation. And those are the people that like you try to correct them, and they immediately hit you with no, and you're just like. Well, you're I, like, there's nothing really we can do. We tried, but you're just not worth educating. I do find it interesting that without fail, a lot of the people who try to be hard headed about it, like if you click on their profile and if they happen to have horses, like all of their horses are, you know, in not great condition, ill-fitted tack, like the farm situation's a little sketchy. Like, you know, it's not quality horsemanship and you know, like sometimes if I'm really in a bad mood, I'll do that little dig built because they'll, they'll be over there like talking so much crap about horse racing. They're like, you all do this and this, and this. And I'm like, it's really funny coming from somebody whose horse is skin and bones right now. And they get all mad. They're like, how do you say that? Like, well, I was like, is it not the exact same thing that was happening? Like take a chill pill. It's just, and so obviously it's derby week. And so everybody and your mother is suddenly an expert in horse racing and it's just, it gets a little exhausting. And honestly, it, at, like every af after every derby week, I'm like, I don't want to see social media for like a whole week. I'm done with it. But so I'm, I'm, I'm actually, once I get all this edited, I am taking a vacation for a couple days. Just because I'm like, I don't want to see nobody. <laughs> um, 
anyway, so obviously, because I ended up working tonight, which is not normal, um, I start back up Tuesday. So I'll work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. And then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program the week after, where I'll be here Monday through Friday. So yeah, hopefully freaking weekend shift has a baby. Because I'm so tired of looking at this golden pal. The golden pal is the one who's really got me stressed out. This mare doesn't really... Like, she's just... I don't know. I just want the golden pal to fall. Tired of looking at her. I'm sure she's tired of me looking at her too. Anyway, uh, I guess... Till next week. It is Sunday evening. I honestly... I was prepared to cut it off. I had edited everything. The whole nine yards. But then... But then I got called out because... We had a Golden Pal Colts, finally. Uh, and so I will give a, a proper hello when I get back on Tuesday. But in the meantime, just for your until next time, enjoy a few of these little hello clips. Because the whole reason I went out there is we were a little bit concerned that maybe this mare was going to have a potential dystocia. Just because she just, she wasn't doing what she was normally doing. But everything was perfect, easy peasy, textbook. Couldn't have asked for anything better. So it was totally just, that's why I was out there. And I was totally not needed. So that's phenomenal. Uh, anyway, like I said, enjoy this little brief hello uh, until next week. Uh -huh.